two food trucks, only one golden sport. Which dish will reign supreme in our Charlotte and loaded face-off? Chefs Jamie Barnes and Greg Williams are former Johnson & Wales classmates turned roommates, best friends, and now business partners. They made it to the final round of auditions for Food Network's The Great Food Truck Race, using the truck name What the Fries in 2014. Although they didn't make it onto the show, they continued pursuing their dream of building a food truck serving gourmet fries. Launching What the Fries as a catering company in July 2014, then they hit the road as the food truck we know and love in August 2015 and have been serving up the good ever since. Nacho Average Truck is the new chew on the block and the first nacho truck in Charlotte, serving up chips like you've never seen them before. One of a kind gourmet nachos with always fresh and homemade ingredients have people lining up for this truck around town. Owner Ashley Troxler hit a career ceiling working in corporate telecommunications and decided to dive into her passion for cooking and entertaining by hitting the streets with Nacho Average in December 2019. And mouths have been watering ever since. Now, let's meet our judges. Lori Ashley of Gracefully 5417. Event host with the most, Lori covers all the hottest restaurant openings around North and South Carolina, giving us Instagram envy with every swipe. And she created Charlotte's first brunch festival, returning fall 2021. Julia Forbes of Chompable. If you can chop it, Julia's there. Creator of the popular Chompable blog, Julia Forbes, AKA La Baguette Queen, shines the light on unique businesses and bites around NC, focusing on all things food. And Jess Bentley of Slice of Jess. Self-taught chef, Jess Bentley is cooking and eating her way through the Queen City. She explores the booming culinary scene, discovering new ingredients, and sharing a slice of her life through home-cooked recipes on her popular site, Slice of Jess. You will judge today's dishes on three criteria, presentation and first impression, overall taste, and wow factor. Then you will deliberate and decide as a group which team will take home the golden spork? All right, food trucks, you have 15 minutes to come up with the ultimate loaded dish. On your mark, get set, rumble! Here we go. So both trucks are working on their proteins to start. So over here at Nacho Average, they're working on their pork for their loaded dish. And over here at What the Fries, they've got two proteins. So they're doing the surf and turf. So they have both the steak and the lobster. What's everyone else in the truck doing right now? Um, everybody else is prepping. Um, we're getting the lobster tails cut up, um, getting ready to set up to get the fries cooked nice and crisp for you guys. This is one of our margarita kits. So for today, it's a mocktail. But this is our favorite. It's pineapple jalapeno margarita. So I figure we give the judges a little something to wet their whistle. I know you guys are getting impatient over here, so I brought you a little mocktail. Yeah. Is this legal? I have to check. I have to check the rule book. <laughs> I'm just gonna sneak a peek inside for a minute. Don't mind me. I'm just watching. We're working on finishing up the pork and our queso here. All right. So those fries are about to drop. Got about uh, two minutes to get those done and they mentioned that they blanch them so that you don't get like that really gooey fry. All right, you have five minutes, five. So they've got the pork going. Now they're working with chips so they didn't actually have to do any frying earlier. So it'll be interesting to see the difference between the hot fries and those cold chips. They're gonna get that fried, get that out. And then they gotta start building their loaded dish. Hey, what the fries? You got one minute. I told you so. I to one minute. They're trying to get everything together, get that perfect plate for our judges. You know how it is in the South. We put pimento cheese on anything. All right, looks like the cheese is going up. 30 seconds. Like this, I'm moving. Final little touches. This could be make or break for who is going to get our golden spork. Nacho Average looks a little more calm, cool, and collected. Perfect. It's a little more frantic here at What the Fries. Hey, I'll need that time. Three, two, one. Time! First up is What the Fries. Now, Greg, WTF is this? 
Uh, <laughs> this is our surf and turf fry. Uh, we have a fried lobster tail. Uh, we have a filet. And we also have a charred corn and asparagus slaw on top with our yum yum drizzle. All right, ladies, dig in. I feel like we put out a solid dish. I feel like all of our flavors uh, had a nice, a nice uh, connection together. It's got so much texture, so much color because of all the veggies right here, the lobster. All on the table, left it all out there. So we're just hoping that it, it was enough. Up next, Nacho Average Truck. Now, Ashley, this is Nacho First Rodeo when it comes to loaded chips. <laughs> oh, no. I had to do the bad pun, I'm sorry. I love it. So what are we serving? So this is our barbecue pork nacho. We've got our smoked barbecue pork, the pimento cheese queso, got a little Mexican slaw, um, a spicy barbecue sauce, and a Mexican gravy on top. All right, Jess, Julia, Lori, dig in. Love, love, love the barbecue. Sweet, little heat on it. Yeah. At first, you're like, okay, how does cheese pair with barbecue? But it does, it's immaculate. It's so well balanced. <laughs> I and like barbecue. how it's a little sweet because of the heat from the pimento cheese. Yeah. It balances out. I'm feeling pretty good. I felt like the judges asked some really great questions. Uh, it seemed like they were really enjoying it. And like I said, it's, it's kind of a funky nacho. So, you know, they were enjoying the pairing of, of the different ingredients. So, feeling pretty confident. <laughs> Our judges know the criteria. Let's hand it over to them to deliberate. When this dish, from what the fries got put down in front of us, I mean, my eye immediately gravitated towards it. And just like the anticipation and like, that's gonna be an awesome meal. I love the lobster uh, along with the steak, which we talked about the different variations of how to cook a steak, and we right. all were Big happy with how TV. it was cooked. Both of them were such flavorful dishes, but they were both very different too. And I want to say with Nacho Average, I loved how crunchy the chips stayed. And like the pimento cheese and the barbecue sauce and the crema, and then she also has like the little salsa and the coleslaw, it all worked really well together. And I love the sweetness from the barbecue sauce, which helped cancel out the pimento cheese spiciness. Ladies, do we think we know who wins the golden spork? I do. All right, judges, have you made your final decision? We have. So, not your average food truck. We love the flavors that you guys brought today. So, the tortilla, the pimento, the barbecue, we absolutely loved it. And with the fries, as soon as you set the dish down in front of us, we were really wowed by all the flavors there, also with the colors. So... The winner of the Golden Sport is... What the fries! <laughs> man, it uh, feels really good, man. Um, I, I'm. I felt like we brought our A game, and um, I felt like we came what we had to do what we had to do. I mean, it was the lobster. <laughs> it got me too. Just didn't come out on top today. Congrats, what the fries? First winners of the coveted Golden Spork. Until next time, good bite. Good night.